Okay, in this test, I'm going to be showing a fairly complex um, land registry update. Again, it's another one of these uh, temporal updates. Uh, again, I think it's a fairly realistic one. Um, in this case, we have uh, someone that is taking a parcel of land, imagine a quarter section of land, and then they're subdividing it. So they're taking one parcel and making it into two. And then they are um, transferring title to someone and, uh, and then retaining title for the balance of that quarter. And all the updates that are necessary for that. And in this case, uh, for the person that's getting the new quarter section, they are <laughs> registering an interest with the bank. So again, a fairly complex transaction. Um, so again, it's a land registry that's making the update. Uh, it's causing uh, an update to occur in the citizen registry for the change of address. Uh, the land registry, there's an oil and gas well on that property, so they're notified. Um, the municipality is notified because, again, these are there's taxation implications for it. Uh, there's data that is going to flow through here to the municipality. There's data that's going to flow through to the bank. So there's lots of updates that are occurring here. So. Um, here I'm just going to uh, run this. So there, this is all the steps necessary. Oops, I've got to get into the right database. Okay, I'm going to run that. <clears throat> so this is making all those updates, and then um, uh, at this point they are, um, and then they're broadcast to the to the systems. So, okay, so this is done now. So now we're going to check the results. Uh, again, this process, I'm going to just cause it to run immediately because right now it runs every minute. So this, I'm going to cause those jobs to run sooner, but this is causing the import <coughs> process to run on these systems. So now if we go back and we take a look, we should see some updates occurring uh, as of that time. So these are all the different tables and things that were updated as a result of this, uh, this update. And we're seeing um, these, they're basically specific updates that have occurred. So let's run that and we'll just take a look. And um, so as an example, we can see here's that uh, interest update that occurred. It's to the Bank of Fairfax. It's a registered mortgage. Um, here's the plans. You know, there's a parcel plan that was submitted by this person. Here's the plans that were affected. So this parcel here went into it with um, um, and then two output parcels resulted from that. Um, here we can see our title holders um, and how the title holders have um, changed. So we can see um, Frank is the title holder of the, the new parcel and Jim and Penny are uh, title holders of that um, new lot. So, <clears throat> so lots of changes have occurred. Um, you can see this is as of 1444, so that's just you know a minute or two before that. So all these changes did successfully go through to the destination systems. So now we're going to go check the executive system because it would have automatically received the financial transactions. So we can take a look at that. And yes, there's the land registration fees, and so these uh, this data has gone through to. Um, uh, you know, to the to the this uh, registry system, and now we can go and check the bank. Now the bank is operating in a completely different system, so I'm going to go switch to that system, which is system number fourteen, and we're going to see if those updates flow through or flowed through to it as well. So. Um, here, uh, actually, I'm just going to redo this. I'm going to close all those and then run that again so I can see what is running. Okay, so um, let's see parcel interests. 
So at this point, it hasn't run yet. So all I have to do is to run it here. And we're going to run that again. And um, where is my interest? OK, so there's the interest uh, there. Uh, there's the people, so Penny Abert, I mean, that's the, the one that we're focusing on. And, and they have this registered against a parcel, which is this lot um, that existed. So everything flowed through correctly to that system. Now we're going to go through to, um, to a different system. We're going to go check the municipal system because, of course, if there was these kind of changes that occurred at a land registry, then, of course, it affects the municipality where that uh, lot exists. So we're going to see if those changes um, flow through to that system. So we're going to switch to system number 12, which is this one. And uh, we're going to run this here and see if those updates went through to it. And OK, so we can see. So there's that. Um, uh, new parcel, the, the five lot, you know, so it's basically providing the information on um, the existing parcel. You can see this one is flagged as deleted, and that was the original quarter section. So now the municipality knows that they have to take that and then basically add taxes to it or whatever they need to do. Um, and you can see that this is currently associated with a tax roll. So they would have some kind of a report that they would run that would uh, tell them um, that they need to set these up in a new tax roll and do assessments and all that stuff, which is actually the next step in the process. So we're going to run that test now because uh, it's basically a continuation of this one. So I'm going to switch to... I'm already in uh, the, the correct database. So I'm going to run this uh, next process, which is going to set up the tax roll and set up the update the parcels and set up the assessments and all that stuff. So that's all going to occur. And I'm going to run that now. And when that runs, um, we should see these updates because I'm, I made these updates in this system. We'll see those updates occurred uh, immediately. So if we look at the, here's this new tax roll that got created that would be of interest. Um, title holders, uh, past parcel title holder, yeah, so Penny and, uh, and Jim and Jimmy. Um, you know, we can see, see these addresses. Uh, got updated again, it's at 1444. And uh, so now that has all occurred. Now the next thing is, because they updated the uh, tax roll on this, well, of course, that's of interest to the municipal department. So if we go to the municipal department and check, um, again, I'm going to cause trigger this to run immediately, which is going to cause those import jobs to run. It runs every minute if I didn't do that, but I don't want to wait. And uh, so we'll run this and we'll see potential database to 10. And we're going to see if we go, if the updates flow through to this one as well. Okay, so they did. So here's uh, that deleted parcel that we, uh, where we deleted that. Uh, there's a new parcel. Um, um, so we can see kind of everything has flown through um, from the municipality back to the municipal department where it's all aggregated. Because if you can imagine a municipal uh, affairs department as an example, it would have an interest in all the parcels that exist out there and, and all the assessments and the details related to those. So that's really um, kind of a part of that. So that's uh, the end of this test. Again, we've done a lot of different uh, updates here. I'm just going to recap them. But we <clears throat> started off with, uh, with a pretty significant land registry update where we took a parcel of land and subdivided it and then uh, set up new title holders 
and then updated all of the parties that had an interest, such as the energy department, because there was a parcel because it um, existed on a um, because there was an oil well on it. We updated um, an address for that uh, for that person because now they reside in a different place. Um, we sent an update to uh, the bank. We sent an update to the municipality. Then we updated the tax roll for the district municipality and then sent those updates um, back to the municipal affairs department. So there's lots and lots of changes that happened there and everything uh, worked as expected. So that's the end of this.